Hello. Hi, Kay. I'm having audio issues with my Switch again. I don't know what happened. It was picking up my mic instead of the game, so I was getting double mic and hearing myself. It was weird. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll play some Sam and Max. Nye. Hi, Strow! And to be fair, today was a tentative splat three, so always could change it up. Oh god, yeah, it's hella indecisive. It's, I think it's something with my fucking capture card at this point. Is currently blocking that. Come on, I should plug my phone in. There we go. Dance, dance. Yeah. No, I could see that one. My computer's just blocking the chat on my other monitor. <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, no, my Switch is also super decisive, but I, I think it's something with my capture card. I'm not entirely sure. I'll figure it out. Because I had it fixed, but it broke itself again. Gotta start at the beginning. Congratulations on another successful peace summit, Mr. President. Don't congratulate me. <laughs> congratulate the peacemaker. You crack me up, little brain salad in a blender, Mr. Spatula. He's been acting surly and withdrawn lately, even for a vice president. But I never thought it would come to this. Uh. His lust for power has <laughs> oh, twisted no, him into the a Trump mockery of the goldfish yeah. we once kind of loved. That insouciant fin flapping, that glassy, malevolent stare like a sociopath or a, a Fox newscaster. Mr. Spatula has become pure evil. Staging a coup, Spatula? Not on my watch. Eliminate him. You are my idol. I didn't. Flint paper. Hiya, fellas. Hey, what's the rumpus? I'm in the middle of some sensitive PI business. And we respect your sensitivity. Is that mechanical goon one of yours? Uh, hello. My sacred side burns of Isaac Asimov. <laughs> My name Tron 9000. Destroy Salmon Max. Destroy Salmon Max. At two main Tron. That's what Mr. Spatula gets for sending a hitman with lousy aim. Max, what say we go down and administer a freelance police-style beatdown to that metal monstrosity? And then dance on its smoking carcass. It's that attention to detail that makes me glad you're still president, little buddy. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the Playland and Casino explosion. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. Should have let that deadbeat Jimmy Two Teeth sublet. A 
a souvenir from our takedown of the Toy Mafia. Keep up the good work, Leonard. Okay. Brady's fro must be at least 60% dust mites and skin flakes at this point. A souvenir from when Max eliminated you Bliss. It's the former president's dismembered head. Collect all 43. Our broken reality 2.0 goggles. We keep everything filed under S for stuff. Jesse James's shooting hand. Pardon? Have you been abusing your presidential powers again, Max? That depends on what your definition of abuse is. Essential for interrogating perps and telling spooky ghost stories. I always wondered what the nation's president keeps in his desk. You don't want to know, Sam. Trust me. Oh my god, Geno, this is the first one I'm playing. The nerve center of our entire I know it is gay operation. as hell. I see that America's next white noise is still on the air. I voted for bendy images and the sounds of gravel being poured down a toilet. The Prismatology Blistacular Shade a Month count. This month is fabulous! Mariachi frogs pose just as they appear in nature. Too bad it doesn't sing a little tune and tell you to do things anymore. It, it, it doesn't? It's our Salvia Hispanica Brady culture head. Safe and fun gardening at home with no threat of legal action due to trademark infringement. It's filled with Max's receipts from the tanning parlor. We should just accept we'll never teach that chimp to be a darts grandmaster. At least he's improving. Banana peels are a lot better than what he used to fling at it. Our right photo from Hugh Bliss's roller coaster. Max just couldn't resist flashing the camera. Max chatting with the former president before violently decapitating it. Good morning, angels. For your next case, you'll have to go undercover, deep undercover, as queens of the roller rink. Bosley will have all oh, the yeah, details. It's safe. Good luck, angels, and knock them dead. I gotta stop moonlighting. Yes, this is President Me I mean, this is I.P. Freely. Do you have Leonard Stick Charmer in the closet? <laughs> then you should see a doctor about that. <laughs> no, wait. Let me start over. Max, crank calls only work when you call someone besides us. This is the only phone number I can remember, Sam. This phone table is the most useless thing on God's green earth. Sam, I forgot how to open the closet again. Okay, the second most useless thing. I'm worried, Max. Worried that enormous black mole on your back might be malignant? Well, I am now. I was just worried that the giant robot was going to tear down our building. How are things going with your presidency? The winds of progress are blowing swift and juicy, Sam. I'm proudest of the new law I just pushed through Congress. I'm pretty sure he who smelt it, dealt it, was already established during the Eisenhower administration, little pal. I never would have expected Mr. Spatula to turn evil. It's always the quiet ones. Max, have you been messing with the Constitution again? I can't find the Fifth Amendment. I refuse to answer on the grounds that it may incriminate me. I enjoy our little chats. Anything for a friend and registered voter. What goes up must come down. Why are you fools making all that damn wreck? Just to tell you once again, who's bad? Good arm on that one. I'm gonna tear your playhouse down pretty soon. 
He may be a mechanized engine of wanton destruction, but his taste in hideous middle-of-the-road pop music is impeccable. Oh, um, I've never actually had pumpkin spice. This parking meter could withstand anything. Ah, parking meters. They're like the cockroaches of architecture. Part of our neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. I won't rest until our entire neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. I've lost that loving feeling. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, Mr. Ginormous Wind-Up Toy of Destruction, sir. Yes? I don't suppose you'd care to stop tearing apart our building. Hmm. In truth, it does not matter. I exist only as a mechanized engine for destruction. What I do is what I am, whether I care for it or not. Oh no, Sam. He's been to community college! <laughs> it's trouble, all right. You seem like a smart guy. For a robot? Can you explain something to us? There is no question you could have that I could not answer immediately. Shoot. Metaphorically. Aww. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I have no choice. The dictates of existential philosophy are clear. When a problem comes along, you must whip it, whip it good. Kierkegaard? Close. Devo. Why do fools fall in love? Why do birds sing so gay and lovers await the break of day? That worked? Okay. Part of our neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. I won't rest until our entire neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. trying to destroy us. And worse, you butchered every song I wish I'd forgotten. And another one bites, and another one bites, and another one <laughs> bites. I hope he didn't fall on anybody important. We'd better hurry down if we want to loot the body for spare parts. I call dibs on any delicious candy that might spill from his demolished innards. Let's go. <laughs> Question, Sam. How do you like me now, spatula? I'll ignore that question, Max. In order to say, look, holy knuckle cracking Kringles on a bullet train with a set of ketchup covered cheese logs. It does not say that. We were wrong about Mr. Spatula all along. What do you mean, we? This hitman wasn't sent by some lowly goldfish. It was sent from a bleak and desolate wasteland by the most ancient and powerful opponent we've ever faced. A hairy, bloated, pagan god! Oh god. Santa Claus! Oh, this is definitely gonna be a multi-stream thing, isn't it? <laughs> Like, you can tell that, like, the decades of goofy games, it's just built this insane lore.
Well, here we are at the North Pole. When we find Santa, leave the talking to me. And the hasty trial, the harsh sentencing, and the immediate execution. Hold on. You can't be Santa's judge, jury, and executioner. Don't I get to do anything? <laughs> what the hell are they doing here? <sighs> I don't know. Oh, hey, look, Max. It's the soda poppers. Again. We thought you'd all gotten taken out in the Great Dakotan conflict. You must be relieved to see we made it. Right. Relieved. What are you doing here? We all yeah, got terrible just fucking drove all the way to the North Pole. So we decided to come to the North Pole and return them. Better that than spending Christmas Eve with a shotgun aimed at the fireplace. Kids today have no respect for tradition, Sam. Why don't you go inside? We were on our way in when we heard some frightening noises coming from the workshop. It almost sounded like... Gunshots? Yeah, how did you guess? Sam, why am I the only one who associates Christmas with the sound of gunfire? Best not to think about it, Max. What did you get from Santa? A jar full of rhinoceros musk. Yes, another one. I got a see-through nighty. It's beautiful, but I don't have the hips for it. I'll trade you. Why? What did you get? Tuberculosis! <laughs> that's what I gave Sam last year. And that's why we no longer have secret Santa at the office. Aren't you guys governors of the Dakotas? We were! But that wasn't enough! So we annexed Nebraska. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a disagreement. With who? 2.5 million voters! They won! Are you going to run for re-election? No, now we're focused on environmental issues. We've got a new respect for nature since we got kicked out of the governor's mansion! Can we stay with you oh, guys? Yeah? No! Oh, yeah. Hi, baby. Well, we should be going. Christmas isn't gonna save itself. Yeah, not like that snobby, self-sufficient St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> this thing takes yellow snow and bleaches it into fresh sanitary snow. Wanna have a snowball fight? Not without industrial goggles, I don't. Okay. Oh, tiny topiary. He's really let himself go. It's a topiary planted in a tiny clay pot. What's a topiary? That. How are we doing on fuel? It's running low on coal. This must be Santa's sleigh. Where does he attach the flying reindeer? There's a boiler on the back. Whoa, tough break for the reindeer. The boiler runs on coal, I think. Snow devil? Oh, it's adorable. I think it might be a warning, Sam. Still adorable. Hey, my snowball melted. Okay. Ow, we're outside. <laughs> He's really let himself go. All right, let's go inside. Ding dong! Justice calling! Hello. You've got to help us! He'll kill us all! Now, Max is harmless. Mostly. Not him! Santa! He forced us to make all those awful, hurtful toys. We don't know what's gotten into him. Oh, damn. The snow will turn red with the blood of the naughty! The cartoons always made him seem a lot more jolly.
It's the world's simplest maze. What's the big deal? All mazes are simple. Not everybody has your knack for lateral thinking and heavy ordnance, Max. It just wouldn't feel like Christmas without the needless destruction of an innocent bystander. It's a toy bomber. Or a real bomber that just takes tiny warheads. Makes me wish we still had that box of tiny warheads. Not me. That was our best fishing trip ever. Even when toys were made of wood, this would have been a disappointment. Collect all ten. It's one of those infinitely reloading cannons. Is it loaded? Well, yes. It even has the easy light wick. Toy Marie Antoinette sold separately. I wonder what the elves have on their office computer. Oh, let's read their email. It's a high score list for Mimesweeper. Let's see. Prancer, Wiggles. Shambling corporate presence? How'd that get there? Well, pretty soon it's gonna be all Max. Now how do I start a new game? Sorry, I think it's frozen. Computers and icy arctic wastelands. A bad combination. This must be what Santa uses to send presents. Mametron 9000. Out of stock. Obsessomatic stopwatch. Start kids' panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Now we just need to attach a gift tag. Look, gift tags that say from Santa on them. Perfect. I've had a hard time lately getting people to open packages that say from Max on them. You only have yourself it tied up in the corner. It was worth it. I don't think we need one of those. We just need to put a gift tag on it to send it. Who's it for? Actually, I can't think of anyone who'd want it. Let the winds of ill fortune carry it to an undeserving recipient, then. Hey, it's the North Pole. The magnetic center of the Earth. Magnetism? <laughs> don't tell me you're one of those kooks. You don't believe in magnetism? It's an interesting theory, but I'm not convinced. Your magnetism is a cute bedtime story, but I believe in one thing. Okay, fine. I guess I can believe in two things, but that's the <laughs> limit. It's Santa's record player. Do you think it still works? Since we haven't gone near it yet, I assume so. Torture me Elmer? It's a torture me Elmer doll. Look, he comes with his own breakable spirit and detachable retinas. Seeing all these toys kind of makes me wish I was a kid again. If it's any consolation, I still think of you as a child. Thanks. I wish the courts did. The Bop Buddy Pre-Adolescent Aggression Management System. Hello. I wonder why they call this the Flounder Pounder. Fun! What is this gelatinous goo? I don't know, but for once, I don't find myself wanting to eat it. There's a mailing list <laughs> to Santa True. from Lower Manitoba. And they said Santa never gets gifts. We've got better things to do than jump around on a trampoline. We do? Not really. 
We've got better things to do than jump around on a trampoline. Obsessomatic stopwatch. Start kids' panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Now we just need to attach a gift tag. Whee! It's Santa's record player. It's Santa's record player. Hi, we're collecting guns for tots. Care to make a donation? They know anything. Yeah, he's just back there with a the gun. We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Oh, sure. He's the one who put me in charge here. Was that before or after he went crazy? I'm not sure. When someone offers me a promotion, I don't ask a lot of questions. What happened to Santa? I don't know. But if you ask me, it was only a matter of time before he snapped. He's always been a little crazy. He has? Think about it! The man gives presents away for free! I always assumed he did it for the tax write-off. Where are all the other elves? Santa fired them! To stay competitive with the other major holidays, we had to outsource our gift manufacturing. How'd the elves take it? They all got together and sang a farewell song! Oh, that's sweet. You didn't hear the song. Let's just say it wasn't very Christmassy. Who manufactures the toys now? It's all been moved off-site, so officially speaking, I have no idea. What about unofficially? Baby penguins. <laughs> Why on earth would you use baby penguins? The adults refuse to work without a health plan. Do the baby penguins do good work? Sure, if you don't mind toys that have a slightly fishy smell. Giving them or receiving them? You can use the gift tube over there and see for yourself. What's it like living at the North Pole? I wouldn't know. I can eat. How do we talk to Santa? I don't think talking is going to do any good. All he wants to do is shoot everything. That's understandable. You gotta get his gun away from him, or he's gonna make us do bad things. Merry Christmas. Don't remind me. If we don't deal with Santa soon, we'll never make our shipping date. We're so trying to talk know. to Santa. You know him? Mind if I keep cowering? I'd encourage it. Just remember to cower with your legs, not your back. Any idea why Santa went nuts? Beats me. I'm the intern. I just came off the assembly line yesterday. Jumping jacks and half stacks of hat racks. Are you saying elves are made in factories? Because if you are, I want to place an order for six million. Also, tell my army they're fired. No, I meant I was working in a factory. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. What did the factory make? Elves. See anything unusual lately? Well, this morning, I could have sworn I felt the presence of an unspeakable evil. Tell us more about this unspeakable evil. I'd rather not speak about it. So what do you do here? I'm supposed to make this tree grow. How? By crying. Christmas trees love elf tears. Heck, who doesn't? It makes them grow up big and fast. But I'm too darn happy. I'll never be able to cry. What a shame. It's enough to make you cry. Aye, aye. I wish. Can't you tell us anything about that unspeakable evil? No. Don't you know what unspeakable means? I bet we could make you cry. Thanks. I've been trying to cry, but I'm just too darn happy. We can fix that. In fact, that's about the only thing we can fix. If you want to make me cry, go ahead! We want to! We want to! Me first! I'll pluck out your eyeballs and use them as Christmas tree ornaments! Oh, no! Wait, 
How am I supposed to cry if I don't have any eyes? We could try it and see what happens. Thanks, but I'd rather keep my eyes. Start crying or I'm gonna dip you in honey barbecue sauce and throw you to a polar bear. Oh, goody! I love polar bears! Don't you get it? A polar bear would chop your head off. What? Nothing that cute could be dangerous. Ouch! I didn't think I still had feelings, but there they are. We killed your dog. Oh, no! Yep, he or she ran right in front of our car, and, well... I tried to draw you a picture, but I ran out of red crayon. That sounds awful, but I don't have a dog. I know. We got him for you. And then we killed him. Feel like crying yet? Was he a good dog? Oh, yeah. Well, then at least he's in doggy heaven now. In case no one mentioned this to you yet, you were adopted. Finally! I've been living at that orphanage for 30 years! It was starting to get pretty awkward. Where are my new parents? Uh, they just died. Oh, well, easy come, easy go! You don't still believe in Santa Claus, do you? Sure I do. I saw him this morning. Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but uh, Santa isn't real. He's just make-believe, like the Black Easter Bunny or elves. But I'm an elf. That's what makes this so hard. Wait a second. Are you saying I don't exist? Can you prove that you exist? Well, sure. I, I mean, uh, no, I guess I can't. Ouch. <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> Surprise! We were lying! Congratulations, you exist. Nice try, but I don't believe in you either. That's a big honking tree. Those elf tears really work. It's a toy bomber. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? It's one of those infinitely reloading cannons. It even has the easy light wick. Oops. Go for it, Max. Love the smell of snowballs in the morning. I think I'll save my snowball for a more satisfying target. what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> hey, my snowball melted. Damn it. Okay. Um, what am I supposed to do?
Obsessomatic stopwatch. Start kids' panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Let's attach a gift tag. What unlucky person should we mail this to? Actually, I can't <laughs> yeah, the curse is like, it. Let uh, the winds of ill oh, fortune <laughs> turn into an undeserving recipient then. A crate covered in gelatinous goo to Santa from Lower Manitoba. Hmm. How do we talk to Santa? I don't think talking is going to do any good. All he wants to do is shoot everything. That's understandable. You gotta get his gun away from him or he's gonna make us do bad things. Merry Christmas. If you say so. Let's do that thing with our guns again. Magnets are magic! <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, if you would like to give me hints in the chat, you are allowed. Question. I was gonna try that, but it melted before I could. But I also can't seem to light it. Let me see if that works. Cannon's already loaded. The cannon's already loaded. Hmm. Let's do that thing with our guns again. Magnets are magic! The heck? <laughs> hey, my snowball melted. Yeah, it did. Um... We got my other computer. One quick. One second.
It's a boxing Betty doll, the finest in remote control fisticuffs. Didn't the Mametron teach us anything about the dangers of playing with violent robots? Nope, I didn't learn anything. Good, I worry sometimes. Oh, okay. Well, I can't believe he filled up the entire can. Yeah, we must have really terrified the poor guy. Good work, I have little to, buddy. Oh, I have stop. to go to the topiary <laughs> now outside. Now you're make me cry. Grow. Hey Sam, give me the rest of those elf tears. I've got a date with an unsuspecting metropolis. Sorry, little buddy. They only work on plants. You win again, Tokyo! <laughs> Christmas. We come bearing good cheer and high-powered pistols. <gasps> Sugar plum fairies! Santa, you okay in there? Ho 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 ho! Eat hot lead, you little imps! <laughs> Their exorcism instructions. Wicked! I want to do it now! But we don't know anyone who's possessed. Or do we? How do we start? Hey, kids. Want to silence those inner voices? Do I? No more messy arcane rituals. The My Little Demon playset makes it easy. First, signal the emergence of the demon with the four horsemen of the apocalypse action figures. Sold separately. Ask your parents to help you place the horseman around a powerful magnetic pole. Roman Polanski? Finally, draw the hell spawn out by singing the friendly demon song, using personal information about your demon. He won't be able to resist. This is gonna be the best Christmas ever! Okay, and then we need... The record, the record the Performance show. reviews for young children. It's an album of satanic Christmas songs. Oh, it includes the smash hit, the Friendly Demon song. I can't think of anything to say right now. Okay, and then we're out of here. Do you have any of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse action figures in stock? Nope. We shipped the last one out this morning. Where? Some wretched block of urban misery. Hey! We live on a wretched block of urban misery. With a diner, an inconvenience store, and a cast of shady ne'er-do-wells? That's the one! So you sent the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse to people on our street? Yep. How come we didn't get any presents? We did. We got a giant robot of destruction. Oh! 
Merry Christmas. Don't remind me. If we don't deal with Santa soon, we'll never make our shipping date. Ah. Yeah, I found uh, a walkthrough. I'm only going to glance at it when I uh, get Let's stuck. head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. I'm going to try and solve it on my own, but if I get stuck, I'm going to look at it. Nothing says inconvenience like a full body search before you can buy your candy cigarettes and all day suckers. You have been deemed not unacceptable. Welcome. What are you doing, Kate? Bosco, boy? You your disguise. It's 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 hideous. Claw my eyes out, Sam. I can't bear to look at it. Not if I claw my own eyes out first, little buddy. I'm not wearing a disguise. Wow! I forgot how ugly you were without a wig or hat or something. My package. What? No hilariously inadequate disguise this time? Sam, Sam, Sam. You poor, naive fool. Don't you realize the time for disguises is past? Yeah, you poor, naive fool. Don't you realize that? Quiet, head knuckle. A disguise could never protect you from T-H-E-M. Them? You scared me! Who's them? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. I'm watching, I'm listening, and I will find T-H-E-M. Well, if you do, tell them... <laughs> okay, this is getting old fast. What's with your store? I'm not sure if you noticed, but this ain't a store no more, man. I haven't noticed anything. Look, I've got a hundred trillion dollars and a thousand faceless enemies. I don't need to sell anything. Then why keep the place open? I'm a people person. Do you have any bulletproof edible underwear? I don't have anything. This ain't a store. Now the store looks uh, interesting. It ain't a store no more. I know, did right? you know people who say that something looks interesting are more likely to be serial killers? More likely than who? Than non-serial killers. It's a fact. A fact they don't want you to know. Who doesn't want me to know? Exactly. My regards to your decorator. Yeah, what's the style? Early colonial conspiracy theorist? No. A theorist is somebody who has a theory. I have conspiracy facts. <laughs> oh, I guess you'd be a conspiracy factist. He's certainly not a cluist. This game is making me horribly laugh so much. Because he doesn't have a clue. Yeah, I got it. What's with the fancy dance scanner, Bosco? Tools are necessary. Tools are the only things that separate us from the animals. That probably plays a little better with the non-dog and rabbit ground. That's why I need the personal antipathy registration annulment and non-negational omnifunctional identification device. That's just paranoid. Technically, yes it is. Enough about your store. It's not a... No, oh, uh, forget it. Say, Bosco, what's in the... Hey, guys, does my package sound like it's ticking to you? Not oh my god, yeah, I don't pick up line, definitely Bosco. pick these up. There's oh, so know. many of them. I think my package is the bomb. Now that's a pickup line. This is the first one I've played, but oh my god. Who would send you a bomb? 
My mother, of course. Oh my. She sends me one every year around this time. Families need traditions. So why don't you just get rid of it? I built that bomb disposal unit for that very purpose. So, why don't you just get rid of it? Cause it might be the billion dollar plunge I just ordered. What a dilemma. Just open your package, Bosco. But what if it's the bomb? I thought I heard ticking. Just get rid of your package, Bosco. But what if it's my plunger? I gotta be sure it's ticking. See ya, Bosco. Shh. Say, Bosco, we'll take that package off your hands for you. And step back, boy. That's mine. How does he get these shots? Hey, that looks like one of the four horsemen action figures. Hey, Bosco. Just open your package, Bosco. But what if it's the bomb? I thought I heard ticking. See ya, Bosco. Okay. Hey, that looks like one of the four horsemen action figures. I'm glad somebody's keeping wary of the inevitable pigeon uprising. <laughs> Let's see. Bosco spying on his own bathroom, the director from WARP TV, the L train, and. Hey, wait a second! Hey, an X ray machine! Uh, don't fool with that. This is the kind of radio that eats other radios for brunch. Uh, don't fool with that. Now we can finally confirm exactly how many different strains of bacteria live in the pickle relish. Remember, I've still got 163 in the office pool. Everything's stable. Well, except for the proprietor. It's an old photograph enlarger. I wonder if it will enlarge anything else. No, Max, no. <laughs> Photography equipment for people who've never heard the word digital. Are the high-intensity security lasers to keep us from getting into the bathroom, or to keep something from getting out? Even dark rooms need popsicles. Stay away from my cryogenic freezer. I'll need to put myself in suspended animation once the end times come. If it's a cryogenic freezer, why are there still mustard-covered snow cones in there? Just because I'll be in suspended animation doesn't mean I won't want a snack. Hmm, okay. Max Impeachment Weekly, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> Volume 4 comes out next week! Okay, let's look at a hint real quick. Oh, yeah. Probably. Hey, my missing boxing glove. That's my lucky glove, Putz. Jimmy Two Teeth, what are you and your unsavory pals doing in the burned out husk of this robot? The first uh, movie, maybe. we don't talk about what goes on in the burned out husk of this robot. Hey, I do know I have to box this Give rat. Nothing doing. That's my championship trophy, and I want it fair and square. I always thought being shiftless and lazy was its own reward. They're giving out trophies now? Boxing championship, wise guy. See ya, suckers. Let us get a hold of that horse, Jimmy. I don't deal in that stuff anymore. Oh, you mean my boxing trophy? 
Nothing doing. You want to see my trophy? You've got to come in here and win it from me. We can't fit in there, much less into the ring. Hey, I don't make the rules, buddy. I just exploit him. Boxing Betty time. Pay the bills. And now for our final match in this corner, direct from a hole in the wall of Sam and Max's office, weighing in at one pound thirteen ounces or twelve ounces without the lucky glove, our defending champion, Jimmy Two Team. Ready? Fight! Left hook. Right hook, the left! Ouch! The right, that had to hurt! The right, knock him out! Ouch! And Jimmy goes there we go. down! Boxing Betty is a new champion! <laughs> It's the super exclusive war action figure with extra. Ha -ha. Hmm, there are pieces missing. I don't see the weapons of mass destruction. Eh, who needs them? How could I lose? I'm no expert, Jimmy, but I bet being a loser helped. You, you're right. I, I, I can't go on like this. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, nice going, Max. Now see what you've done. Jimmy's gonna off himself. Huh. I always thought guys appreciated a bracing, candid reality check. Your suicide causation rate suggests otherwise. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'll jump, I tell you. Hang on a second, Jimmy. You know, your wife's gonna give you hell if you kill yourself. Mary? She left me. You're overreacting, Jimmy. You think? Sure. Your wife probably never really loved you in the first place. It's always darkest before the dawn, Jimmy. What the hell does that even mean? Give it up, Sam. Ah, oh, you're right. If somebody as dim as you can tell I'm just phoning it in, why bother? Jimmy, this isn't like you. What do you mean? You're not the suicidal type. You don't have the guts. Or the follow-through. Groan! Look on the bright side. No wife, no family, no job. What right side? Well, with all the brain damage you got from boxing, you'd make a great vacant-eyed janitor. Ah, nuts. My boxing career didn't even last long enough to give me a decent case of brain damage. All right, let's see what Max has. After you jump, can I have your stuff? Like what? I ain't got nothing. Don't say that. Your pelt looks like it'd make a great pair of beer warmers. Wouldn't you rather die by my hand? 
I guess it'd be faster and better to get taken out by a friend. You are my friend, right, Max? Hmm, I wonder what I could use to do the job. The Luger? A nine iron? You're not even listening to me, are you? Of course I am, Sam. Go on! Hey, when you jump, try to hit somebody annoying on the way down. Like one of those soda poppers. Which one's the incontinent one again? I couldn't tell you. Boy, you really are useless, aren't you? Turn that frown upside down. That nonsense ain't helping. Sorry, Jimmy. It's just that suicide is too horrible for me to even contemplate, even though we'd all be happier if you were dead. Max, I don't think this is helping. <laughs> I disagree, Sam. I feel much better about myself already. Sybil's not here. It's closed. Open 24 hours unless I don't feel like it. Or a giant robot tosses the entire building a city block. To stinkies we go. Ah, the smell of desiccated eggs, congealing bacon fat, and rye bread gone awry. It's like Stinky's Diner never closed. Welcome to Stinky's. We never close, except when we're closed. Who are you? I'm Stinky. The Stinky we know was a cantankerous old man who transformed his seething <laughs> hatred of humanity into a misanthropic smorgasbord of culinary horrors. That does sound like Grandpa. Okay, we're ready for the next round of trivia. And the question is, when did the War of 1812 begin? A. 1812 B. 20,000 years B.C. C. March 3rd, 2004 D. Bangers and Mash Twenty-three skidoo, Mr. Lincoln. What's shaken, Mr. X, President? Hmm? Oh, it's you two. Are you and Sybil dating? A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. That's not what your MySpace page says. Hey, I never friended you. Where's your hat? I'm an enormous stone head. Why should I wear a hat? To cover your enormous stone bald spot? I don't have a bald spot, you little pipsqueak. Are you kidding? It's as big as a Volvo! If that thing's to scale, I'm amazed Booth wasn't blinded by the reflection. You seem nervous. Got an itch you can't scratch or something? I'm staying on the lookout for that Ken Burns guy. He will not leave me alone. What are you doing here? Sybil said it'd be fun to take part in Stinky's trivia contest. But like the rest of the 21st century, it's really just a confounding mishmash of unfamiliar buzzwords tossed about willy-nilly. Stinky made a game based on my presidential memoirs? The trivia contest can't be all that bad. Abe, you're not having a good time? No, no, of course I am, Sybil. The best. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. It's all questions about aeroplanes and electric lights and cell phone transmission specification technology. And that stinky person actually claimed she wrote the Gettysburg Address. If I weren't trying to impress Sybil, I'd headbutt that aqua-haired harlot from here to Harrisburg. You're not doing well at trivia? Not at all. How can anyone think with all these bright lights shining everywhere? You know what you people need? Gas lamps. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's not necessary. Abe and I know what we're doing. That's right. We're doing fine. Help me out here, guys.
We think it's B. Hmm, okay. See you, A.L. Represent. Hey, Sybil. Oh, hey there, Sam and Max. What was all that commotion outside? Just a little urban renewal project that got out of hand. By the way, didn't you tell us that you wished your office was closer to a good restaurant? That's right. Why? No reason. Are you and Abe on a date? Well, if you want to call it that. What if I wanted to call it the unspeakable obscenity from beyond space, cackling on the threshold of utter madness? I think I'd prefer date. Think there'll be more dates in your future? Who knows? I'm no fortune teller, but... Oh, wait a minute. I was a fortune teller. Or wait, was I a sports therapist? Were the balls crystal or merely inflamed? Yes. <laughs> Do you know the answer to the trivia question? I'd rather not say. I'm kind of competitive. That's okay. We're not. Why? What do you think the answer is? We think it's A. Hmm. Good to know. See you, Sybil. Look, Max, it's our incredible recording bug. Great. I, have I finally to. managed to get away from my family, and now you two show up. Can a bug just eat a brimstone sandwich in peace? Ah, brimstone. I will feast on your entrails and okay. devour your soul. What the hell? Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's strictly on a need to know basis. We've got clearance from the department of being bigger than you and having guns. Well, what do you think it is, smart guy? We think it's D. Excellent choice, men. Proceed. Sir, so long, sir. Keep them dangly, dogface. Hiya, Stinky. If that is your real name. Uh, who are you two again? Sam and Max, freelance police. The real Stinky's favorite customers. It says so right on our frequent diner cards. Which conveniently double as organ donor cards. Oh yeah, Sam and Max. Grandpa warned me about you two when he left the restaurant to me. Something about frequent threats of violence and refusal to pay your bill. He remembered us! What's going on? There's a lot of people here. It's a trivia contest. It's fun. People get to show off how little they know, and I get to show off how much I know. That doesn't sound like much incentive to play. Shows what you know. Oh, and there's a big prize, too. What's the prize for the trivia contest? If anyone wins, they get my ancient heirloom. Sickly man on a horse. Not that anyone's come close to winning yet. <laughs> My sophisticated questions are just too esoteric for these booth monkeys. Booth monkeys? Where? It's just an expression. How do you play? It's easy. Just grab a trivia pad, I'll read a question, you write down the answer. I'll review the answers, and then you'll see how much smarter I am than everyone else. You can choose a team if you want. Oh, oh Sam! Pick me! Pick me! So long. Let me get the trivia pad. Let's give this trivia question a try. And you will be okay, see. let's hear everyone's answers. We'll start with you, Sybil. I chose A. Of course you did, dear. <laughs> because you're wrong. I chose B. I appreciate a man unafraid to flaunt his ignorance. Wrong. The answer is D. D. Oh, I'm sorry. That is wrong. 
We chose C. No, that's wrong. Oh, I guess it must be right. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I'm really annoyed that you won, but I'm far too magnanimous to let it bother me. <laughs> Cheaters. It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Oh, see how he slumps in his saddle. Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler, blind a toddler, hmm, eviscerate? <laughs> well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. Yeah, I had to do that, because she didn't want to have anybody actually win. this? A clandestine meeting of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society? The cops are obsolete no longer! Welcome to the grand opening of Pimp Le Car! We offer secure upgrades to a very exclusive clientele. How exclusive? No one! Get what was here before you opened this body shop? A string of unsuccessful body shops. Terminated! What makes you think you will have better luck? A recent influx of road debris will result in the projected 6-4% increase in revenue. Road debris? From the main trunk? My hero! No! A shipping mishap from the North Pole has resulted in a glut of unwanted torture me Elmer doll. Destroy them all! What have you got against Torture Me Elmer? Show off! My associates were once the most popular toys available, but no more. Beating up a doll cannot compare with the wonder and the excitement of arithmetic and grammar. Uh-oh, Max. I think the cops may have been educational toys. I knew there was a reason I didn't like them! So do you know anything about cars? If we didn't, why would we open a car shop? Because you're lonely, forgotten machines who do anything to feel useful? Processing. Oh dear. Input appears valid. I just had a breakthrough! This is all about my dad! Okay. <laughs> Could you guys turn the DeSoto into a hybrid? Damn heavies! We are not. I just wanted to be able to use the carpool lane. Since when do you stay in the lanes anyway, Sam? We'd like to pimp our car. Please make a selection from the following menu. If you'd like the exclusive Death Horseman hood ornament, press 1 now. And what else? That is all we have. There was an ordering malfunction. Totally not my fault! Actually, we also offer a wide range of completely worthless decorative decals. We'll take that Death Horseman hood ornament. Excellent! First, however, you must complete the Pimplica driving challenge. Oh, just give us the horse! Where is the fun in that? We've pooled together our years of experience in designing the most advanced computer games to bring you the ultimate augmented reality driving experience. Augmented reality? Yes! While you weren't looking, we placed a pair of our patented augmented reality goggles in your vehicle. You did? Through the miracle of augmented reality, your driving experience will be five to ten times more satisfying than ever before. <laughs> Would you like to try the driving challenge now? Alright, let's do and this. And how? Eat my dust. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Okay. Hello, and welcome to the Pimplicar Driving Challenge. I'm really excited. 
Your mission is to hit the display number of torture me medals. Make them pay! And you must do it in the allotted time. Just go already! Ready? Go! It's the sudden unexpected death figurine with super reaping action. Now, wherever we drive, pedestrians will feel the icy chill of death. More so than usual. Okay. And Kay, you were right. We have to go back to the North Pole. You ready? Where to, Sam? We're oh. off to the North Pole. Yeah. <laughs> this tube spits out presents. Hey, it's just like me! I wouldn't call those presents, Max. Obsessomatic stopwatch. Start kids' panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Let's attach a gift tag. To exercise the demon, it says we'll need to collect the four horsemen of the apocalypse That's action figures, thing. place the horsemen around a magnetic pole, then draw the demon out using the friendly demon song. Who's it for? Bosco might like that. I think that horseman would look better in my pocket. Where to, Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Howdy, Bosco. I just got a package, and this one's ticking louder than all five of Larry King's pacemakers put together. It's gotta be my mama's bomb. I'm gonna blow it to kingdom come. Now, while he's distracted, Max, grab the package and let's get... Look, Sam! It's the supersized famine figure! With realistic binging and purging action, it's got over 1,700 points of articulation, 250 in the jowls alone! 
You never were good at waiting to open presents, little buddy. Oh, wait. Where's my package? Dear God, they took it. And they took Sam and Max, too. There ain't no place <laughs> safe. Okay. Now we go. Where to, Sam? We're okay. off to the North Pole. Yeah. Let's put on the friendly demon song. Like gelatinous goo. In Lower Manitoba. Like Minesweeper. What is my cat doing? Hey, shambling corporate presence. Huh. The song seemed right. I guess we must not have all the horsemen in place yet. Alright, so I'm gonna do that first. Can we start the exorcism now? Nope. We still need three more horsemen. Let's hurry! I've got a sudden, inexplicable craving for pea soup! Cat, what are you doing? One second. He was just playing with something he wasn't supposed to. I hope this demon appreciates all the work we're going through. I just hope he doesn't rip our lungs out and eat them in front of us. That's kind of what I meant. I can't wait till we finally exercise this bastard and put the video up on YouTube. You'll have to. We still need one more horseman. That's the last one. Now we just have to sing the incantation. Do we have to? If we want to save Santa the season of giving and possibly the entire Earth as we know it, yes. <laughs> yeah. Still hardly seems worth it. All right, let's do this. Like gelatinous goo. He was the most unholy creature that was ever born. Ever born. In Lower Manitoba. Even the other demons scared to let him join their game. Their game. Like Mime Sweeper. And if you want to meet him, you just have to shout his name. His name. Hey, shambling corporate presence.
It worked. The power of Christmas compels you. Any second now, Santa's gonna walk out that door demon free and shower us with gifts like an absentee dad with a guilty conscience. Did it work? <laughs> Wait. But he. You mean? But I, I, I thought. But I thought. Huh? What? No. I quit. I'm gonna be a dentist. <laughs> Feliz Navidad, baby. What? Nothing? Didn't you guys read the back of the instructions? There's a back? Very important. Make sure you have the spirits of Christmas to contain the beast, or you're screwed. Seven Knox! It's up to you to save Christmas! Oh, yeah, damn. we're screwed. Something from the bar. I gotta go grab something from the bar. I forgot to do. Sam. Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. Yeah. <laughs> How's the diner business? Well, it's no Italian villa rendezvous with George Clooney. <laughs> but reopening the family restaurant is very fulfilling. Bringing people closer to obesity-induced ischemic heart disease is its own reward. On the other hand, George is much easier on the eyes. <laughs> and the feet. <laughs> My dogs are barking louder than you, Fido. Oh, I gotta do another thing. So long. Okay, 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 okay. Back to the North Pole. Why did we throw Max? We had to the click in the North Pole and then come back to Stinkies. Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. Well, we are close to the end of this chapter. Have it be like a chapter or stream or something. I don't know. <laughs> Footpath and Piranha Aquarium. Too bad the piranha are sold separately. Let's attach a gift tag. What unlucky person should we mail this to? Stinky might like that. Okay, now we go back. <laughs> Where 
too, Sam. Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. was heavenly. My feet haven't felt that good since that hot oil massage from Barack Obama. It smells like you've got a new item on the menu, too. Now, I can find the strength to keep serving these poor, sweet, spoiled imbeciles. This smelly old sock could come in handy. Okay, now I go back to the North Pole. Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I just glossed over that. Santa's room. It's a record of what people got in their stockings. Jenny A, nice kid, sock full of toys. Dan F, means well, sock full of candy. Stephen G, liar, sock full of coal. Wow, Santa must really hate liars. Yeah, a messy public divorce will do that to you, I guess. Let's see what Stinky's getting from Santa this year. It's full of coal. That's what you get for lying all the time. What do you think you get for reckless disregard for public safety? In my case, I got to be president. Look, Sam! Who dares to disturb our... Oh, it's you. You know us? <laughs> We know all those who have ever ruined Christmas, especially the repeat offenders. Oh, who are you guys? Dig the spirit of Christmas past, brothers. I am the spirit of Christmas present. And that cat's the spirit of Christmas yet to come. He's shy. What's your 20, good buddies? We could use some help saving Christmas. We're not bad people. We've just had bad luck with major holidays. And automobiles. And federal statutes. It is your own selfish actions that have brought this to pass. Selfish? We're freelance police. We save the world. Sometimes on purpose. You got no clue the bad karma you've built up, man. You will need the combined help of all three of us to defeat the demon. We will show you three Christmases you've ruined. Set them right, and we will consent to help you. Where are you going? I have to get some air! That safe reeks of weed and dilithium crystals. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just 
couple different things I have to do very quickly. I guess this leads to some dystopian future Christmas. You say that about everything. But this time I'm right. Wow, the future is hot. And so am I, Sam. Seriously, check future me out. Smoking! Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help! Spirit, why would you show us this if we were powerless to change our snackless fate? Surely we can alter these shadows before us. Perhaps with a larger, economy-sized bag of pork rinds. Or chips! Or you know, Max, we could find a way to get our future selves out of this place. Yeah, I guess that'd work. Alright. This one's easy. Sock full of coal. In the boiler. There we go. One Santa sleigh fueled and ready for takeoff. Great! Now we can finally bomb Auckland. I was thinking we could use it to save our future selves. Right! In a preemptive strike against the vengeful Kiwis. Get in the sleigh, Buckethead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh. What an unexpected stroke of luck! Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. <laughs> I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Shake that thing! Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. I'm gonna miss that sexy beast and his fat tub of lard sidekick. Hey, you could stand to lose a few yourself, smart guy. Well, we saved Christmas for our future selves. Is that all? Yep. I guess that means he'll help us take care of our demon problem. What's he gonna do? Give him the silent treatment? No! Stop! Please! <laughs> Never underestimate the power of passive aggression, Max. I don't know. Let's find out. Portal of the present. We'll Prepare yourselves for a journey beyond imagination as we enter the present! Sam and Max, witness how your reckless carelessness hurts hey, those wait who... a second! This isn't the present! You took us to the past. Past us are standing right there. I know that! Just give it a minute to catch up! It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Aw, see how he slumps in his saddle? Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler, blind a toddler, hmm, eviscerate? 
Well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. Oh, no. Seriously, we had a totally boss bug summoning toy, and we wasted it on a stupid exorcism. Tain hut! Map two, Sergeant. What? How did you stink bugs find me? This place is great. Baby brother too good to share with his family? Too good to break radio silence and call his mother anyway. Been on important missions, ma'am. Been hanging out with those filthy dung beetles, more likely. They don't even speak our language. As long as my family's together again, I'm never leaving. Mayday, mayday! Request immediate evac! Immediate evac! So what, we have to rekindle the bug's love for his family? Teach him what they really mean to him? Oh my, no! Have you seen them? They're awful! You have to get rid of them! Oh boy! I'll go get my stomping boots! Non-violently! Damn! Okay. So you know the thing we've been trying to figure out what to do with for ages. This is the spot. Let us return to the present. The snow. Father? It is you! The butterflies are pinned down! Move out, maggots! Sir, yes, sir! Company, march! What in tarnation? My family! They've retreated! It's a miracle! A miracle! Well done. <laughs> now, <laughs> let us return to the present! It's finally fucking time to use the goddamn snowball. I must admit your repentance was acceptable. I suppose I can help you after all. Forget that! You gotta send me back! I wasn't done haunting people yet! Oh, it was very Matt. fucking obscure. You and I'm Sam so glad I have the wiki up. The walkthrough up and just I'll look at it every once in a while. <laughs> until you're prepared to release all three of us to smite the demon. We're really feeling the Christmas spirit now, eh, Max? You bet! I'm excited, disappointed, over-socialized, and more than a little gassy. Alright, let's go to the portal we'll pass now. You cats ready to take a freaky trip to the past? You bet! I want to rub my body all over Mary Curie. And see if you'll glow in the dark? That'd be neat, too. Wild, man. We ain't going back that far, though. Jump in. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> he never even took the sandwich out of the casino. Hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? Here we are in your office in the not-too-distant past. I remember this. This is when we had to retrieve the Toy Mafia's meatball sandwich that Leonard tried to fence to Jimmy. Do we get to beat up Leonard some more? No way, Max. These cats can't sense your presence in any way, Dig. You are here to right a terrible wrong you once committed. We have to stop ourselves from doing Yo Mama jokes? Just watch. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Well, Jimmy, where's this big score that's gonna change everything? Where's all the money that's gonna save our dear tiny Timmy? Yes, Daddy. Where the f is it? Oh, oh my God! It's hopeless. The doctors say his Tourette syndrome will kill him if they don't operate soon. Don't cry, Mommy. I'll get the f with the f the f angels. It's all a bust, Mary. Every time I try to make an honest living, Sam and Max smack me down. Oh, sh Jimmy, we were all counting on you. I know, Mary, I know. 
If only I'd have stuck to boxing, I could have been somebody. Instead of being a rat, which is what I am. So get your lucky boxing glove and go fight. I, I don't have it no more. Sam and Max took it. Again with Sam and Max. If you spend more time boxing and less time sitting around watching TV, you'd be champ. Face it, Jimmy. You're a washout. Please don't fight Mommy and Daddy. Daddy's my hero, and he'll make everything right again. You'll see, you f***ing You'll see, you'll f***ing Okay. Call the doctor to ease his suffering. Just get that glove, Jimmy. Our baby doesn't have much time to live. And so, Sam and Max, you see what you gotta do. Beat up Leonard some more? <sighs> no. Okay. Jimmy, stop sitting around and get that glove. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Two Teeth. We got you the one gift every rat loves. An impossible maze. Come and get it! Jimmy, if you don't turn off your TV, I'm going to... Hey, where am I? It's hopeless. There's no way out. Don't say that, Mary. We can work it out, I... Mary? She left me. Now I'll never see her again. That... I know, son. <gasps> I know. Away we go. Sam. Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. Yes, yes we did. Um, for a very important reason. We need her keep him from jumping off the ledge. Jimmy? Jimmy, what are you doing? <laughs> yep. Mary, is that you? Mary! Don't, don't go anywhere. I'll be right down. No, Jimmy, don't do it. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna jump. What? I don't talk. Crazy? I'd never do that, especially not with my best girl here. <gasps> Gee, Sam, I, I think I got something in my eye. Don't pick at it, Max. It's too hard to get back in the socket. Jimmy, I don't know how I got here, but I'm sorry for all the things I said. Don't worry, baby. Now that you're back in my life, nothing can stop me now. I'm unbeatable. Thanks for the glove, Jimmy. I'm feeling full of the Christmas spirit already. Okay. Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. Back to the past. Look alive, Cheech. We want to go back in time again. Lead on, brother. Happy holidays, Jimmy. Hey, 
Who threw that? What? Could it be true? Timmy, look! It's your pa's lucky boxing glove. Where the f*** did that come from, Daddy? <laughs> I don't know, son. All I know is I finally got a second chance. It's a Christmas miracle. I ain't never letting this thing out of my sight again. Now, come on, son. Your dad's gonna go punch out some bums and get you that operation. God f***ed us, everyone. Way to go, dudes. You save Christmas yeah. <laughs> Time So loop. let's groove on back to the present. Ten four again, buddy. Sam and Max, you made up for your past and helped Jimmy find his way. Now, for your reward. Non-sequential serial numbers, please. I'm just gonna chill in this bottle. Until you're ready to unleash all three of us cats on that fascist demon. Sally! Nope. started in case this doesn't work. Fear us, aimless spirit! Tune out those bad vibes of destruction and get with the spirit of peace. Same as shambling corporate presence. Reject violence and anger and embrace the love and brotherhood of the season! <laughs> Bummer. Well, we tried. <clears throat> get him. Santa, you can come down now, man. That's about it for us. Happy New Year, everybody. Well, I hope you boys have learned your lesson. It was a series of honest mistakes, Santa. Keep us on the nice list, and nobody has to see this videotape of you wetting yourself and screaming like a campfire girl. <laughs> you rapscallions, run along to bed, both of you. Ready for visions of sugar plums to dance in your head, little buddy? It'd be better than the night terrors. Ho ho ho! Jello! Sinful. Santa! No! Don't eat the jello! Because all it says no. after this is shootout. <laughs> it don't feel so good. And then some other stuff. Oh god. Ah! Take out evil Santa again? We did some stuff. Fantastic. <gasps> now what? Poke holes in the box and keep him? Great news, Sam and Max. The demon didn't get us. Oh. Why won't you guys just die? Now it's time we sent this demon back where he belongs. Under an unsuspecting child's bed? No, <laughs> look at the mailing label. Somebody messed up. It wasn't supposed to go to Santa. It was supposed to go to Satan. Oh, oh okay. I, 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 I see what you mean. <clears throat> 
Everybody, it's almost dawn. What are you standing around for? We've all got to pull together and save Christmas for the kids of the world. I can do the wrapping. I can do the labels. <laughs> I can do the urinating. But who could possibly deliver all the toys in time? Godspeed, Sam and Max! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Good luck! Drink plenty of liquid! Yeah, they just Merry said Sam in hell. <laughs> Say, Max, do you think we should have waited for them to load the presents before we drove off? What's the rush, Sam? It's the middle of November! <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do episode two on another stream. I think if Riley's still going, I'm gonna raid her. But this was so much fun, and I'm definitely playing the rest of the chapters. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> These guys are such goobers and I love it. Yes, yes, they did. <laughs> See you all on Saturday. One second. 